Today, let's visit the airport of a large city. This is the main building of the airport. It's called the terminal building. At this airport, many planes come and go every day. Many people work here. They do many kinds of work, helping airplanes land and take off. These men are keeping track of airplanes in the air. This radio man in the airport is talking to the pilot of a plane in the air. And here's the pilot. He's high in the air in his plane. His plane is about 10 minutes away from the airport. He can look down and see the tall buildings of the big city as his plane flies over it. It's time to find out about landing. So the pilot talks to another man at the airport. A man in the control tower. He will help the pilot land safely. Now the pilot can see the landing field. He can see the runways where planes land and take off. He can see the airport buildings around the field. Now the pilot is getting ready to land. Here he comes. The runway is clear. The man in the control tower is seen to that. Our pilot brings his plane in to a smooth landing. Now he comes over to the ramp where the passengers get off. In this room at the airport, other passengers are waiting for planes. Here comes a man who wants to get the next plane flying west. A plane to the west, asks the ticket clerk. Yes, sir, we have one leaving at 2.20, flight 609. Now, uh, just let me check to see if there's a seat left on that plane. To make sure, the ticket clerk phones to a clerk in another office. She looks to see how many people are listed for flight 609, and she finds there is one seat left. These clerks are busy all the time taking care of the people who want to get seats on planes. The ticket clerk reports that there is a seat on flight 609. Now the clerk makes out the ticket and says the plane will be ready soon. The plane is in one of the hangars where men work on the planes. And here is the plane for flight 609. Workmen are taking it out to the ramp. Let's see what has to be done before it takes off. Here's a man in one of the kitchens at the airport. He is getting the meals ready for flight 609. His helpers are busy placing the food on special trays. Each passenger will get one of these trays of food when the plane is in the air. The food is taken in these containers to the plane. Here in the mail room, men are getting the mail bags ready for flight 609. This man weighs each bag of air mail. The passenger's baggage is carefully checked, too. As each suitcase is sent to the baggage room, the baggage man writes down the number of the suitcase. All the 
bag stacked on this truck belong to passengers on flight 609. Here's the ramp chief. He has to make sure the plane has everything it needs. The chief is telling the men who help him what has to be done before flight 609 can leave. This helper is going out to the plane on the ramp. He watches the truck carrying out the containers filled with food trays. He watches the truck loaded with passengers' baggage coming up on this side of the plane. He sees that these men fill the gasoline tanks in the wings of the plane. Now, let's watch the loading. Here are the big containers filled with food trays. The baggage goes into another part of the plane. Here are the mail bags, bags of air mail. Announcing the departure of flight 609, now loading at gate one. Flight 609, now loading at gate one. Have your tickets ready, please. Everything else is ready, and it's time for the passengers to get on the plane. The passengers are all aboard. Their baggage is loaded. Their meals are on the plane. The mail is in. Up to the pilot goes a list of the passengers' names and a list of the baggage and mail bags. The plane starts over to the runway. There it will wait for its turn to take off. Private planes use this airport too. Over here is a little single engine plane. But where's the pilot? Here he is at the airport weather bureau. The weatherman is showing him maps that tell about the weather. The pilot is flying north. From these maps, he can tell what the weather is like between the airport and the city he's flying to. And the weather maps show him what kinds of winds there are high in the air. From the maps, and from talking to the weatherman, the pilot learns it is safe for him to fly north. And now, the pilot leaves the weather bureau. He goes to this room to write out his plans for his flight, so the people in charge of all flying at the airport will know his plans. He writes down his name and where he's starting from and where he's going. From all that the pilot has written down, the men at the airport who control flying will know just where he is all the time. That's how they keep track of all the planes in the air. Now the pilot is ready for his flight north. But before he can move his plane, he must ask the man in the control tower if it's all right. He is one of the men who see that the runways are clear. The man in the control tower tells the pilot he can go over to one of the runways. the pilot takes off on his trip north. The 
the airport is a busy place with many workers. These workers make it possible for pilots to bring in their planes, to have them taken care of on the ground, and to take off on flights to all parts of the world.